What's up guys and gals, because in today's video I'm talking about cologne and perfume. So I've cluttered the table with my cologne and Christina's perfume. Christina is here to do a video with me. Hello. What's going on? <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a topic that I touched upon years ago. I'm not a connoisseur of cologne, um, but uh, I do like wearing it occasionally. And I figured, you know, people watching the channel, some of you might wear cologne, some of your ladies might wear perfume, and vice versa, whatever you want. So I want to talk about it a little bit. I actually picked up some new cologne, and Christina got some new perfume. She turned me on to this brand, and I want to talk about it a little bit. That was pretty cool. It seems to be pretty popular on YouTube as well, a lot of people talking about it. Uh, but I want to give you my little history of cologne. So this is my side of the video for the guys. Now, you might laugh at some of these things because it's quite dated. Um, way back in high school, I wore some Michael Jordan. You can see I went ham with it because I only got a little left here. Uh, this was very popular in the 90s, as was Dracar, which I don't have here. Um, but I went through many a bottle of that. Uh, I didn't always wear cologne like in high school, but occasionally I did. Um, I actually went through a little, little stint where I wore Old Spice just because it was super cheap and I thought it smelled good. Um, this is pretty much my go-to. This is Chanel's Blue. Uh, I've had this ever since, even before I was uh, dating Christina. What do you think of that scent? I love it. Yeah. It's a classic, yeah. Yeah, she likes it and hey, it worked, right? So I stuck with it. Uh, I get a, probably a bottle every year. It's expensive though. It works very well and I found, again, not being a connoisseur of scents, but you know, you pay a little bit more for quality scent and it actually lasts all day. And in some cases, uh, if you have it on a jacket collar or something, you could smell that for a couple days. So yeah, this is pretty much my go-to. Uh, although I've had some other ones here, I know fans of this channel will like the uh, Victorinox cologne. <laughs> this one I've had for many years. And something else too is cologne degrades with time. You know, so this might not be you know as awesome as it was when I first got it, but it still works fine. Still smells great. And of course, I love that packaging. What's not to like about that? And then I've had some other ones over the years. Um, I got this from a viewer many years ago. I do like it quite a bit. This is Monte Cristo. I don't think they make this bottle anymore. Looks like a little pack of cigars. Um, this is Aramis, which I thought smelled good. I got this on my own. And what do you think of it? It's a little bit mature. <laughs> mature. She hates it. She hates it. No, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's mature. It smells like a wonderful old man. And I'm not an old Classy man old yet. Man. Yeah, it, does, it smells great. I like it. But, you know, it, it's weird because when you have cologne and perfume, a lot of times the user, the person putting it on, wants it to smell good. But really, who's it for? It's for everyone else, right? Right. So, like, there's scents like this that I like, but I'm putting cologne on for you. You know, my wife. That's true, but if you really like a scent, you should just wear it. I suppose that's true. Yeah. But I happen to really like this, and you happen to really like this. That's why it's my go-to. Mm -hmm. But anyway, then I have this, like... Uh, usually like if I'm just running out for the day, I, for some reason, I randomly got this, what, at like a Rite Aid years ago? I forget, but. Yeah, they were getting rid of their fragrance section, so they had like some of their bigger like tester things on like a super clearance. We picked yeah. a couple of them up. Like this thing. Mm -hmm. This massive thing, which I never would have just randomly bought. This smells pretty good. Uh, I don't even know. It's a know. pretty cool bottle shape, yeah. Yeah, I like the bottle, the big old square. Um, I don't know who, what is this, nine? It's Rock Aware. Rock aware? I don't know anything mm -hmm. about it. All I know is it smells okay. I rarely wear that. But this I have used a lot. The Enrique Iglesias. I yeah, really like nice this. Yeah, it's a nice summer scent. Yeah, it is. It's nice and fresh. Um, so anyway, that's kind of my cologne history. But uh, Christina, you watch a lot of random YouTube videos, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of fragrance channels. And you keep seeing this brand come up all the time, which is Dossier. Is that Dossier. pronouncing that properly? Um, so she was interested in trying some more because obviously you have a selection of perfume. So if you see in the back there, there's a couple different samples. There's some bigger bottles that I've gotten Christina as gifts and she got it from her family as well. But you like trying different things all the time, right? Yeah, I'm constantly trying different fragrances. The two on the side there, the Daisy and the Slight Blue here on the right hand side. Those are probably my older ones. This one here? Yeah, those used to be like my favorites. I would say this um, was a kind of a go-to for a little while. For a long time, familiar. yeah. Very popular. Yeah. Great for the summer. Yep. You know, fresh, light scent, mm -hmm. you know. And that's something else. I'm constantly learning about everything. You guys know, when I get into a hobby, I try to learn as much as possible. This is not like a really interesting hobby to me, but it's something I do enjoy. And when Christina talks about it, it's very fascinating to me. Uh, we're talking about scents, you know, you got top notes and base notes and 
light summer scents and mm -hmm. different things for different seasons. It, I mean, you can get really into this. I'm sure there's channels dedicated just to cologne and perfume. But, um, but yeah, I just want to touch upon it a little bit because Christina kept seeing this brand everywhere and I really want to try it. You wanted to try it, right? Yeah, because I saw that they did like their inspiration, their versions of more popular fragrances. So this is one of the scents that I recently tried from the uh, company. It's called Musky Oak Moss. And uh, I like this. One of the reasons that I, I want to try this is because I was interested in Creed's Aventus, which is a very expensive cologne apparently, yeah. right? Well, how yeah. much is a bottle of that? I think it's average like $500 for the mid-sized bottle. That, yeah, I mean, that's out of my budget. I could probably swing that if I saved, but that's not a priority to get, you know, really nice cologne. Uh, I like just moderate cologne. Like I said, even this at a little over $100 a bottle is a lot to me to spend every year on just cologne. Uh, but this is not, you know, a main hobby. Obviously, people spend thousands on their hobbies, and if you're really into different types of colognes and perfume, then that makes total sense. But um, people are saying that this is supposed to be a very similar scent. Now, you can see on these bottles, it actually does show, you know, on top the little notes, which is kind of nice. All right, you guys can read that there. Top notes, I guess that's what, when you first put it on? Is mm -hmm. that a top note? Yeah. So apple, pineapple, bergamot. Very familiar with bergamot just because I like candles. That's yeah, most of else. my scents have bergamot in them. Yeah, I, I'm very familiar with that in candles, mm -hmm. right? Um, and obviously, I know what an apple and a pineapple smells like. So it is really nice. It is similar, very similar to this. Again, not a professional, but, you know, reading this as you spray it on, it, it does smell like it's supposed to. And you guys can read the other notes there. But anyway, this is supposed to be similar to uh, Creed's Aventus. And now that I've had this, it might be something I invest in the future. I'm curious to see the difference. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, the whole thing with the company is they do a lot of, you know, inspired scents where it's kind of their own take on something, but it smells similar enough where, you know, if you do like that expensive version of something, it's a cheaper option, which I thought was cool. Plus, they have a ton of different uh, coupons. In fact, because Christina was telling me so many people on YouTube uh, show this and they have different coupon codes, I reached out to the company and they provided me with a coupon code for you guys in case you were interested, which is Cutlery Lever 10. It's 10% 10 off. What is nice is that you could stack the different uh, discounts. So the 10% code works on top of all the other discounts they have. I believe it's like up to 30% off your first order. Then they have some kind of um, you know program similar to like Olight where if you're a continuous customer, you can save more and more money just depending on what you're buying. And obviously like a lot of things, the more you buy in one order, the more you're saving. So it's definitely worth it as far as trying some of the more expensive stuff. Like I said, I mean, I'm not necessarily going to the local drugstore to find different types of cologne. I do like to have something that's a little nicer like the Chanel, um, but I don't wanna spend a ton of money. So this is a nice like kinda, I don't know, entrance into the world of, of scents. So I personally really like this one. I've been wearing it. I don't know if you could tell how much is missing, but I've had this for probably, I don't know, two or three weeks at least, right? Mm -hmm. Since we got these. So these are the two that Christina ended up picking for the, the women out there. I and mean, of course, everyone's opinions are different on uh, perfumes, but she likes the fruity oak moss and the ambery saffron. So what are these similar to? Is... So the fruity oak moss is supposed to be like the Creed Aventus for her. Okay, so this is the female version of this. Mm -hmm. And the Ambery Saffron is um, the inspiration of Baccarat Rouge 540. Okay. Which is actually unisex scent. Oh, all right. So it's nice. Mm -hmm. So something you get a spritz on me one day, maybe? You could try it out. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have the uh, other similar perfumes to these? So for fruit, for the Oak Moth, for the Creed scents, yeah. we don't have the actual versions. Yeah, I know we so we're just kind of going off yeah. of what they have there, hoping that it's similar. Yeah. But for the Ambery Saffron, I actually have the, a sample here of Baccarat Rouge 540. And to me, it smells... Yeah, very, you, very close. I remember when you were giving me the back and forth, we mm -hmm. switched, you know, some uh, little paper strips and really let it breathe a little bit. I guess that's what you're supposed to do when you first spray, right? There's alcohol, it has to mm -hmm. burn off. So you give it a second, you know, just kind of wave it in the air. And I remember doing all these different tests. You're showing me, you know, what this is and guess what that is. And I mean, it's fun. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I do like all the different scents. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was extremely similar, but it was like their take on it. It was their take on it, yeah. You know what I'm saying? As far as like my experience with um, different perfumes and, and uh, colognes, like the blue, as I said, I use all the time. I have a, a fake version of this 
I don't even know if you remember where we got that. Me, I want to. That say was like a random drugstore inspiration yeah. brand, and I've tried them in the past too, and they're usually like really terrible and they don't last long at all. I found these to last all day. These are fantastic. Yeah. These smell all day long, very similar. I'm assuming it has to do with the composition. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's more essential oils or whatever they do. Um, but what I was saying is that I have like a again a cheap knockoff of the blue. I actually don't even have it here. I keep that at my parents' house as a backup in case I'm visiting and I forgot my cologne. Um, and it just doesn't last. I mean, it smells somewhat similar, but I'll have it on and literally an hour later, I don't even smell it anymore. It's gone. And that's why it's cheap, you know, super, super cheap. I have to say, we're really happy with trying these. Uh, they do have their own versions of this one. Uh, the small one, right? Uh, Mark Jacobs Daisy. Yeah. Yep. And this blue one here. Dolce & Gabbana. Yeah. yeah, so they have similar ones, which we might actually try next time. If we place another order, uh, I would certainly be interested in trying those just because we have them and it's easier to compare it to. And in the future, I'd like to actually get the real uh, Creed's Aventus because I thought this was amazing smelling. So if they're, you know, I'm just kind of curious to how different it really is. If you guys happen to have this brand, uh, Dossier, please post in the comments what you think of it, if you have any experience with it. Um, but that's what kind of why I'm making the video. I thought it was great. And then reaching out, they're really nice to give a coupon code as well. Um, so that if you guys were interested, you can get in pretty darn cheap, at least to start. And then, you know, of course, this is something you like and you continuously buy it all the time. It gets even cheaper. Plus, what's really nice, since uh, we were recently talking about store policies, if you guys watched my uh, gold video, uh, but they have a no questions uh, asked return policy. I think it's within 30 days. You can return an open bottle. Full refund, no questions asked, which is awesome. It's just a really nice policy because when it comes to colognes and perfumes, if you have no idea what it might smell like, you might be completely blindsided and absolutely disgusted by something you thought would smell nice. It's not like, you know, seeing a different knife, getting a real good idea of what it might be like. Uh, you know, this is a total question mark unless you visit local perfume shops or the mall or something, you really have no idea what to expect. They're just different shaped bottles. So yeah, if you go to like Macy's, you might find some of these fragrances like from Chanel or Dior, but a lot of the niche fragrances that they have inspirations from, you can't go to, you know, perfume counter and get samples that's of. That's true. Actually, you either have to get the full bottles and that's it. And if you test it out and you don't like it, you just have to sell it privately. You can't return it. I was going to say we were recently at the mall. What was it? JC Penney or Macy's? It was right? a Macy's. Yeah, um, Macy's. Yeah. And literally talking about this after getting this, I wanted to try Creed's Aventus. And it's just something that I didn't realize they just don't sell that mm -hmm. at the mall. Right. You have to go what, to what, a boutique shop or something, like a specialty shop? Yeah, I'm gonna order for them directly, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of money to just take a chance on. You can't really try it out in person, you know? So there you go, a video about perfume and cologne. Uh, I do recall years ago when I talked about cologne, uh, a couple people, you know, mentioning it, they're really into it. Obviously, you guys are hobbyists. You watch my channel because you collect knives or Zippos or or whatever the case may be. Um, so anyone who's really into fragrance stuff, please feel free to comment down below, especially if you have uh, experience with this company. If you have, uh, you know, certain colognes or if you're a woman and you want to recommend certain perfumes for Christina, anything like that, be sure to comment. Don't be shy about it. I love to hear your experiences. I love to hear all about it. If you have a, a channel that's dedicated to uh, cologne or perfume, I'd love to see it as well. Because I'm kind of learning about this. I have so many different interests. And so does Christina. And obviously lately you've been really into more perfumes and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's just fascinating. When something's new, like I don't know any anything about this stuff. That's why it's all new and exciting. Um, and I love learning about stuff. You know, it's just fascinating. It's not as simple as just this stuff smells good and you spray it on. Like something that Christina uh, told me that I had no idea about was when I put cologne on, you know, I'll usually spritz uh, one on my neck and I'll put one in either wrist and I go like this and I rub it together thinking like, okay, that's what you do, right? You see everyone do that, rub it together. And apparently that's not good, right? Yeah, they say like it breaks up the molecules and stuff. Yeah, and it just, I had no it idea. It lasts as long. I guess by doing that, it's just not lasting as long. You know, the longevity of the scent is uh, diminished by me, you know, rubbing it in because that's what I saw in a movie years ago. So yeah, I thought this was just an interesting topic to, uh, to bring up. Um, I do like the, uh, the company just because it's a little bit of a cheaper way to, uh, to try out different scents. Uh, if you guys know of any other similar companies, let me know down in the comments as well. Um, but yeah, it's just like knives or Zippos, again, anything, flashlights, you know. There's uh, cheaper stuff and there's more expensive stuff. Everyone, of course, wants the expensive stuff, but you don't always have it in the budget or maybe there's just not that much interest. 
I always appreciate a quality alternative uh, for less, just like with knives. Sometimes the $5 knife works totally fine. You don't always have to get the $200 one. Something else I noticed, which is totally irrelevant, uh, but because I'm a gear person, uh, the magnetic tops on here are <laughs> extremely strong. I, I don't know. I just thought that was uh, kind of cool. Oh, also, don't shake up the, the cologne. There's something else you taught me <laughs> that I just did. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, see, you got to start somewhere, right? Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna make a bunch of uh, cologne and perfume videos. I just thought this would be really cool to share with everyone uh, I do like this particular company. I thought it was nice that they threw me a, a coupon code for you guys to use uh, And like I said, if you have experience with it, let me know down in the comment section and a big thanks to uh, Christina for uh, Turning me on to different things and, and let me know about different types of products Like I said, I I love this cologne, but I'm always trying stuff new Thanks for watching guys. Hope you have an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow with what? A brand new video. <laughs> That's right. A brand new video. See you guys tomorrow.